Madam Chair, Mr. Chair. Kaya talaga ang aking request ay eh, magkahiwalay-hiwalay na kayo. Eh, kumalas na kayo sa CHED. Kung ganito rin lang nangyayari every single year. Tama? Every year, ganito na lamang. That's also our hope, Your Honor. So, luminitaw, itong CHED, CHED thinks they're God. They can just do anything they want without explaining, without explanation. Yes, How long they, they think they're God? Um, with the permission of um, Senator Tulfo, may we clarify, kanino nyo sinasubmit yung budget nyo? We submitted to CHED po, Mr. Chair. And it's CHED that submits the budget? Yes. Of LEB to, to the, the DBM. Yeah. Apo. Um, number two, for the information of Senator Tulfo, kahit sinong congressman at senator pwede magdagdag sa budget. But when they ask CHED to add to it, it means CHED should subtract from its existing programs. Kung kaya nga kumuha ng pondo para magpagawa ng kali sa isang barangay, ba't hindi kaya kumuha ng pondo mula sa ibang item sa budget para bigyan kayo ng 50 million? Um, can we hear Senator Tulfo from CHED? Yes, uh, pero prior to that, uh, before please continue, that, sorry, okay. sorry, please continue. So, yeah, I follow what uh, Senator Chief, thank you Mr. Chair, na after you submitted your proposed budget to CHED, and then CHED was submitted to DBM, right? And saan po nang gagaling yung pag slash Would that be from CHED pa lang, ini slash na o pagdating sa DBM? And then kapag na-slash na ng, halimbawa, DBM nag-slash, does DBM inform CHED? The reason and then Chad should inform them. Go ahead, Chad, please. Ako nasa sagot ng okay. Senator Tulfo. Thank you. Because I was chair Sorry, of finance please. for several years. Okay. Actually, DBM gives a ceiling or budget cap for each agency. Each agency will make of a dream scenario sometime in this time of the year, February. Yeah. Diba? Budget call ngayon eh. So, magsasubmit sila ng mga pangarap na budget ng kada ahensya, LDB included, SHED included, which would run in the billions. In the case of um, LEB, which would run in the hundreds of millions. And then DBM, between February and um, May, will sift through it. They will go back and forth with the respective agencies, trying to haggle and discuss within their respective CAPs Kung ano yung ilalagay, isasama, hindi isasama, dadagdagan, babawasan. And this would all depend on the priorities of the president, given that it's the president's budget that will be submitted to Congress. Mm -hmm. Once it's submitted to Congress, um, you're correct, sir. It has been a practice na pag binawasan, tinatanggap na lamang ng mga ahensya yun. Um, hindi pinag-aawayan yun, hindi kinu-question. They just accept the fact that that was the ceiling given to them. And there have been several conflicts between, for example, Congress, the Senate, Supreme Court, the Independent Constitutional Commissions, whenever their budgets are slashed by DPM in the executive's um, proposal um, with respect to the proposed GAA. But at the end of the day, um, it is not discussed. Let it's not unique. Um, it's not discussed with agencies why it was last, what was the purpose why it was last, only that you have to work within these limits. Now when it reaches Congress, we have the power to reallocate these funds. We don't have the power to increase the budget, but we do have the power to reallocate items included in the budget and place it wherever um, we may propose and vote upon by plenary. So, yun yung kwento ng budget. Malungkot, pero yun yung karapatan. Pero, Mr. Chair, tama nga naman kayo. And then, they have the right to slush according to uh, what the President would dictate. Uh, pero, sa akin na naman po, uh, bilang kortesiya, at least man lang itong mga agency na na-slush yung budget, must be informed para malaman nila kung saan yung uh, parte ng na, na hiniling nila sa ba na budget ay uh, ay hindi na pala dapat kailangan pa o kailangan magtipid sila sa 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 uh, particular uh, uh, line of budget na kanilang ni-request. Kasi naman, Mr. Chair, sa pagkakaalam ko, pag mga favorite agencies, eh, hindi nestla siya mga budget. I, 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 hindi na po ako mag-mention. Isa lang naman ang favorite agency. <laughs> <laughs> Hila po magbanggit, Mr. Chair. Meron pa iba na hindi ni-slash, pero pag yung mga hindi paboritong agency, is-slash na is-slash. 
Yan ang nakakalungkot pa, Mr. Chair. Pag paborito nila, kulang pa to, dagdagan niya pa to. Pagdating sa, ano, nadadagdagan pa. Pag, di ba? I like interest, Dr. Tolfo. It's okay. It's okay. AFP modernization is always increased year on year compared to the previous year's proposal. Saying a fiscal space of 60 billion, hindi naman pala nila may implement this year. Ede, tanggalin na muna this year, gamitin na muna nila yung pondo last year, implement it, then you have that space. Uh, usually, uh, do you encounter uh, being an attached agency of CHED, especially in terms of budgetary? Uh, our budget, really the budget being assigned to us by the Department of Budget and Management uh, on the basis of the presentations of CHED has been very minuscule. Uh, there was a year, I think this was in 2016, where we received a budget of 5.4 million pesos from the DBM. And for the many years, we've been receiving on the average 20 million pesos. And that is really, really uh, very, very insignificant. I think insignificant is not even the word for us to survive as the agency supposedly in charge of monitoring and supervising legal education. Uh, we have received a letter sent by the CHED to Chair Popoy Villanueva Rosario, and we were furnished a copy of that letter. And therein, the DBM said that we are... Um, identified as a program of CHED, specifically uh, development of excellent centers. That is why the budget aligned to, uh, assigned to us is always small uh, because of that. Budget as assigned to you, to you, to the lab is small. A and who determines as to how much budget would you receive for a certain year? Kayo ho ba yung nagbibigyan ng program sa kanila nung maging budget ninyo? Or sila na lang that decide for you? We submit our proposed budget every year po, and it goes around 200 to 300 million. And Ched, in -slash po nila yon. Ched determines internally our budget. So when they present it to uh, DBM, it, it appears that it's slashed to a, a mere 20 million. So ano pong justification ang binibigyan nila sa inyo kapag in slash po nila yung budget, yung proposed program na ipinisinta nyo sa kanila for your budget needs for that year? So wala po silang binibigay na reason? Wala po. Wala pong binibigay na reason. The only reason we, may I say the word discovered, was that through the letter of CHED to DBM that we are categorized for the last, for all these years as a project of CHED and not as an agency attached to CHED for budget purposes. So, hindi po kayo nagpa-file ng motion for reconsideration, if you will call that, if you can call that, na para i-challenge sila na, teka muna, mga taga-ched, ito talagang kailangan namin, and we we know better than you, kasi kami naman talaga ang nandito at uh, ang nagpapagod at gumagawa ng trabaho, at hindi naman talaga kayo. Hindi po, kasi po, um, uh, first of all, we don't receive any feedback from CHED on how... No feedback whatsoever? No feedback whatsoever. They just, and, they just slash the budget and then they don't they don't give you the courtesy of letting you know, hey, we slash this because number one, itong reason, number two, ito, number three, four, wala, walang ganon. Hindi po, and not only that... So um, disrespectful itong mga taga CHED. Kahit na pa talagang kahiwalay, maghiwalay-hiwalay na, magsukulian na ng kandila. Opo, ganun po. Kasi there was even at the time... Pastusan itong ginagawa sa inyo ng CHED. I would not disagree with that, Your Honor. There was even a time where uh, now Speaker Martin Nervaldes, formerly the majority floor leader, uh, instructed or I think uh, sent a letter to Ched after we had seen him to increase the budget of the LED to give additional 50 million. That fell on deaf ears. And recently, Congressman, Honorable Congressman Rufus Rodriguez, also during the budget season, asked Ched, instructed Ched to give additional, again, 50 million. Again, that fell on deaf ears, so we didn't receive any more than 20 million uh, for this year as well. What could be the reason? But you know, to say you and Chair. Siguro po, marami, I'd like to think that marami lang po talaga silang ginagawa, but then again, they if that goes on, wala na rin po kami magagawa. Sila marami, pero kami wala kami magagawa. I understand what you're saying and where you're coming from. Ang sa akin lang kasi, Mr. Chair, kapasito saan itong ginagawa ng Ched? E kung mag-slash sila ng budget ninyo na pinaghirapan niyo po yan na i-formulate uh, kung ano yung nakakaganda para sa mga programa ninyo, sa ahensya ninyo, and then i-slash lang ng Ched ng ganun-ganun na lang without even telling you why and how and the reason really bakit they came up with this decision na para mag-islas ng budget.